Cook County has the largest number of people on electronic monitoring in the country, and many of them are violent offenders. WGN's Kelly Davis is here with a closer look at this program. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Ray and Micah. Electronic monitoring dates back to the 1980s. It was used as a way to deal with overcrowding in the Cook County Jail, but the number of offenders out on electronic monitoring has doubled in just the last few years. That is not criminal justice reform. What that is, is making our streets more dangerous. Mayor Lori Lightfoot made some bold statements last week about Cook County's electronic monitoring program, pointing a finger at okay. judges. We will never drive down our violent crime numbers if the judges don't wake up and recognize the harm that they are doing every single time that they let one of these violent criminals back out on the street. Cook County Sheriff Tom Dart oversees the electronic monitoring program he talked about it in detail at tonight's virtual forum. I've still been consistently saying that home monitoring is not a program for people charged with violent offenses. Cook County has about 2,600 people free on electronic monitoring. The number increased dramatically in the last few years due to jail reform and COVID-19 precautions. It's now the largest in the country. When we first started getting the real serious offenses, there was just a handful of them, and I literally did put a car out in front of those houses. But once that number got too high, the sheriff didn't have the resources. He says more than 75% of people on electronic monitoring are violent offenders. The biggest categories that we have, which once again completely flipped what it used to be, are gun offenders. Those are our largest group. They represent just under 50 percent, five zero. And these are not misdemeanors. They are federal gun offenses. Numbers from the sheriff's office show 90 people charged with murder are free on electronic monitoring. Another 40 people are charged with attempted murder and 852 people are charged with aggravated gun possession. Do you feel safer knowing these numbers? I don't think any sane person does. Sheriff Dart says their data doesn't show these people recommitting crimes, but Mayor Lightfoot says it still sends the wrong message. They're right back on the street, walking biggest day as if there is zero accountability. That's what's contributing to the level of brazenness that we're seeing on our street. There is a second electronic monitoring program in Cook County that's run through the chief judge's office. It's unknown how many people are on that. Sheriff Dart expressed his frustrations with the lack of transparency coming from that department. Right now, those numbers are not even made public. Mm. So it could right. be a lot more people that are on this I system. bet. Thanks, Kelly. The Bears fired Matt Nagy and Ryan Pace today. Dan Rohn has more on the big shakeup at Hallis Hall ahead in sports. First, they'll take.